Alright fellas, hello and welcome to Amiibo League Episode 5. As you can probably tell, there is no music, and that is because today we have Plasmaster co-commentating. Say hello, Plasmaster. Hello, Plasmaster. Due to be a wisecrack, Plasmaster will no longer be part of this stream. Good night, everyone. Alright, thanks for having me. See ya. You're welcome. Yeah, always a pleasure. <laughs> 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 oh man anyways uh so it has been a while since the last one so let us go to our um our point review now last week things got a little interesting because poison was knocked out round one and i just realized there was a typo but you know what it's too late to turn back oh well anyways yeah, how, how did how did that happen, Darth? How did Poison get knocked out round one? Yeah, uh, Toriyama. Reigning champion. Toriyama uh, was randomly, randomly, randomly put into put into round one uh, against him, which is one of his stronger yep. stronger things, and uh, he got knocked out uh, round one. Cannot stress enough how random that was. Yeah, it was very much random. Uh, but it did pave the way for a very interesting uh, top eight, uh, with Send to Noodles actually taking it. The first champion to not be Poison this season. Um, yes. And Seinfeld. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. Uh, but Seinfeld coming in at second. Um, second place, hello and Pax in third, nothing unexpected there. Crockpot finally uh getting past round one and doing some damage to get to fifth. Uh Sammy and Lou also reaching fifth and the dominance and village Rome, predictably enough, also in fifth. A little less predictable in Village Rome's case, but it is what it is. Uh so because of this, it's mixed things up quite a bit. Uh Poison is still in first, so no surprise there, given that he had 30 points the week before. Uh, Village yeah. Yes, Villadrome was behind by a little bit, but still maintained second place. But that first place sent Send Noodles up to third place. Send Noodles has kind of performed pretty all right so far. So it kind of makes sense that she would get shot up there. Seinfeld, on the other hand, after a few, like, round one eliminations and like a round two i think was the other one uh got boosted up by that set of points all the way to fourth place ben and dominance kind of just hanging out there ben falling a few places but i'm sure that this week uh he's going to make it back some uh well, hello. sitting in seventh place as well with 15 points yes uh dominance Still performing solid. He's only had really one bad week. Uh, other ones, he's kind of got knocked out before reaching grands. But honestly, his performance has been pretty all right, all things considered. So he's had a pretty consistent performance, pretty consistent points. Uh, Hello, I believe, fell a little bit. And On My Bike, um, with a bit of a rough performance last time, uh, sitting at 8th place. Uh, and then you have all the other places... A few players just got knocked down. Bust a move has not been able to recreate the magic from week one. So he uh -huh. has been knocked out of the top ten. Uh, with a few other characters. Uh, I believe Lumberjack also had an unfortunate uh, fall. The Lumberjacks only really had one good week so far. Uh, and then all your others. So on and so forth. Uh, but we are going to... Switch over to our tournament for tonight. Um, I barely remember the bracket. I just remember checking to make sure none of Vanilla Jack's Amiibo were fighting each other round one this week. All right. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Because, so believe it or not, the idea was that whoever would win would get a tournament named after them. But because Poison kept winning, we had to pick characters that we believe performed pretty well or were fan favorites. But finally, someone else won. So, we present to you, Send Noodles Sensation. The name for week five of the tournament. 
Uh, by yes. the way, fellas, um, as we go out, let me know if the audio is too quiet or too loud for uh, Plaz because and like the game audio because we want to make sure that people are able to hear our lovely guest. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So I, I, once the game audio comes in, uh, I think it'll be easier to tell. Yeah. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Uh, I don't know if you can. Yeah. Alrighty. So we have for our first round. Unfortunately for Chad. He is going up against Hello. This is going oh, to be... Oh, no. <laughs> this is going to be sad. As we know, Chad is the, the biggest choker uh, of, the, of the league. We love him, but yes. he chokes. It's sad. Uh, is Are you still uh, <clears throat> screen sharing? I like, have, you pressed, have you pressed Let's Go yet? Uh, I have. That's weird. Okay. I can't... Yeah, it... it uh, both on the live stream and on the Discord stream, it has not moved from that screen. Well, Mario is still contemplating his existence. That's not supposed to happen. What the heck is this? If you, uh... Oh, okay, there we go. There we go, I can see it now. Must have yes. been a bug with the, uh... Must have been a bug with the transition. Like, uh... Uh, okay. From studio mode. Uh, right. right now we're fixed. We're good. We're good. So, uh, okay. as you can see, hello and Chad. Uh, let's see how this goes. Will we get a miracle upset or, you know, the alternative? Uh, <laughs> let's find out. All right. Round one. Let's do this, fellas. We're on Frigid Ophirian to start. And, uh, yep. yo, Chad got the percent lead. Let's go. Oh, oh let's go, Chad. Let's go. Oh, it was short lived. Yes. <laughs> we'll take the. Take... Yeah. With Chad, it's it's the little things, it's the little victories here and there. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Unfortunately, that victory might be a little too small to, uh, Make it through this, but he is recovering quite well. He just not got get hit by the fireball. I was about oh, to say. Oh, spoke too soon. Hello, gimping Chad with that fireball. Unfortunately, a lot of the uh, competition that Chad has in this tournament are good at exploiting his, let's say, lackluster recovery. Yeah. And the one time he didn't have an opponent like that, um, he literally jumped <laughs> into his recovery, so take that as yes. you will. <laughs> oh, Chad. Chad returning to stage. He does have 100, and F-Tilt will do it. Our up smash will work just uh, up fine. Up smash, yeah. Now, there's a 98% lead. Uh, so it might not matter much in the long run. Makes it back. I thought he was going to... Okay, wow. I didn't think he would make it. Yeah, neither did I. Unfortunately, uh, Hello does seem to like to use uh, Flood at the ledge, which Chad is very weak against. Yeah, I believe... Um, if he's not... not able to use his feathers. Unfortunately... Oh, the fireball. And the oh, the flood. fireball and the Flood. <laughs> Hello, setting chat on fire and then saying, oh, sorry about that. Let me put that out. Yeah. <laughs> such, a, <laughs> such a polite competitor. Yes. No, but, like, um, one thing that Chris says that, like, the Mario Amiibo is hard programmed to do Flood at the ledge, which is not good for any character with an exploitable recovery like uh, the Belmonts. Yeah. But, hello, sitting at 127. Forward tilt will do it. Yep, not Ooh. quite going to get the kill. Chad does recover. Yeah, nice little combo there, though. Chad needs a miracle, and that does not need to jump to the... Oh, the fireball. Oh, 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 oh he did it to again. him again. Such good manners. Farewell, Chad. We will 
remember you fondly. Hey, at least he wasn't cheese. He didn't cheese himself out this time. So that that yeah. is that is a positive. He lost fair and square. Indeed. All right, so moving on to round two, we have uh, the previous champion, Sen Noodles, versus All My Bike, who isn't quite a champion, but is generally a high placer. <laughs> so we'll see how these two perform today. Two top eight amiibo. Let's see how this plays out. And we are, I think I'm um, uh, a bit loud on the stream, by the way. Ah, all right. I will turn you down so. a little bit. All right. A uh, nice bite from All My Bike. Uh, all My Bike with a pretty solid percent lead right now. But Send Noodles needs to hit a couple of those up smashes, and it'll even things back up. And Send Noodles. Yeah, All My Bike going against the uh, champion of the last tournament and the namesake of this tournament. Yes. Might uh, might be shaking in his boots a little bit. Hopefully the nerves don't get to him. Indeed. But he is doing a pretty solid job. A nice little combo gets Sun Noodles off stage, but Tether Recoveries are busted in ultimate. Yeah, and they while, absolutely are. Yeah, and while Min Min doesn't have the worst of the Tether Recoveries in the game, it is definitely like a more lower tier one. Yeah. yeah it's, not, it's no buy list. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the up smash. Oh, my goodness. We'll take the first stock. Send Noodles sitting at 102%. All my bikes got to get the kill quick. Otherwise, Send Noodles uh, will get... Honestly, I can see Send Noodles tacking out quite a bit of damage if she gets an opening. Uh, yep. All my bike just has to secure the kill. Just needs to hit with any kill move. Any kill move will work. Okay, he so so not forward air. There you go. <laughs> the up smash will Spray do the trick. Spray corkscrew. No, no, that was uppy. Oh, I said up. Yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm sorry. It, it was an up <laughs> aerial attack, though. Not up air, but an up aerial attack. Yes. But Sun Noodles is, damage, is uh, putting quite a bit of damage on all my bike right now. All my bike needs to get in there and start doing damage. Maybe use a lot Yeah, I mean, you know what they say about on my bike. When you're fighting on my bike, you only have two stocks. I... <laughs> Whether or not he will make use of his waft uh, remains to be seen. Hits with a corkscrew again. And it's with that down Ooh, air. Okay, the down air. Very nice. And gonna, the yeah. Heather, okay. The gimp. On my bike. Bringing this back. Still sitting on his second stock. I can't tell if he has waft yet or not, but the side smash. Oh, will <laughs> I I think he tried to use waft earlier, but uh, Min Min interrupted it. Ah, uh, okay, that makes a lot of sense because I did see the anime the uh the animation earlier. Yeah. Uh, Send noodles poking okay. at all my bike. Oh, oh, okay. On my bike. On my bike. He wants it now. He he's he's had he got he has the download. It's like hey, yeah. do I? It's like yeah. noodles. I want to consume the noodles. I must, I must win this to get money to buy more noodles so I can eat them. He's looking for those gluteny combos. Yes, the megawatt is out though. The megawatt has been the death of many a great amiibo <laughs> in this in this series. Sure, we all know about the uh, that legendary kill against Cloud Fury in week two. Ah uh, yes. This is anyone's game at this point. Oh, but the up smash will oh, do it! Up smash. Giant Send brain. Noodles jumping right into the up smash. And Send Noodles is out, and Wario laughs at Send Noodles' pain. <laughs> yeah. Um, Send Noodles falling out of round one of their own tournament. Yeah, unfortunately, they will not join the gallery of individuals who have won their first tournament. All right, round three, fan favorite Cloud Fieri versus Sammy and Lou. Now, Sammy and Lou was the highest performing of Vanilla Jack's Amiibos last last tournament. Sammy and Lou okay. is no slouch, but Cloud Fieri um, 
is also no is also no slouch. Yeah, just we've, has we've some... seen Cloud Fieri put in some work. Yeah, Cloud before. Fieri gets stuck with a few unfortunate matchups. Um, this could be the same thing, but it, they are pretty even right now. Yeah. Cloud Fieri's just got to play around those projectiles. And he throws oh, out the Oh my goodness, base. maybe Sammy and Lou should play around his projectiles. <laughs> it seems like it. Less than 30 seconds in and the first stock is already down. Uh, Cloud Fieri making it back. Oh, okay. Getting the sour spot of the butcher knife there. Indeed. May at even a little damage is enough to kill okay. someone. Okay, to get the catching kill. with the up smash. Sammy and Lou take Cloud Fieri's first stock, but they've got their work cut out for them here. They are yeah. sitting at eighty percent. Oh my goodness! Yeah, Cloud, Cloud looking Fieri. to end this fast. Yeah, go, yeah, going for that forward air. And he has hit it a few times in the league so far. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but the down that air has, will oh! end it. With Very two. nice. I was <laughs> I was about to say, the forward air has to be one of the more satisfying spikes to land in this game. And Cloud Fieri was like, no, 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 I got one better, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got a better one. Check it out. Down air. <laughs> yeah. Cloud Fieri is out for blood right now. Yeah. Going, ch chasing Sammy and Lou off stage quite a lot, though he does have to be careful Ooh. because he himself does not have the best recovery. Yeah, and Sammy Almost Lou have limit do on like deck, that though. There here. it is, letting it rip immediately. He really, he really wants to end this. He wants to end this quick. He's like, oh, yo, yeah. I, I heard all my bike wanted some doodles. I gotta go make them for him. <laughs> I'm a quick near okay, knock charging off stage. limit. I don't think he'll even. Cloud Fieri wants to end this with his limit. And the back air. But the classes. back air will do it. Cloud Fieri taking yeah. round one against Sammy and Lou. With a decisive two stock lead, no less. I'm sure I'm sure many of Cloud Fieri's fans, either absent or present, are cheering for this victory. I'm cheering on the inside. <laughs> I am trying to remain impartial as a as a commentator in this tournament. Of course. But just you should all know that my heart is soaring right now for Cloud Fieri. <laughs> uh, so we got the canonical matchup here: Curvy versus Two to Curb. Let's see if Two to Curb can uh, clobber that that there Curvy. Yes. Usually, Tuta Curb is Tuta Curb is a very good amiibo. I could see this happening, but Curvy has had some pretty solid performances. Never really making it past round two or three, but Curvy has had some solid performances in the league so far. But Tuta Curb has a bit better of a record than uh, Curvy overall. Yeah. But Curvy is putting that work in. Has Tuta Curb at a pretty high percent. Uh, but... Yeah, but it only took a couple hits to get Curvy. In the same kind of situation. Yep. And Tudor Curb is now in the. the oh my I'm goodness! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Throw, throwing out the the jet hammer there. Oh, just dodges that up smash. They both really want to show oh, their these... hammers to each other. They're... Yeah. <laughs> and the down air is. Oh, is that that? That's yeah, not gonna no, kill. Not from, not from that high. Below ledge probably would have done it though. Yeah. But to the curb is at kill percent now, but so is Curvy with a quick up tilt. Yeah. To the curb loves that up tilt, has won him quite a few games. I mean, it's one of DDD's faster options, and I mean, if it's gonna kill, why not go for it? Yes. Pretty sure most, like, in this case though, to the curb, most of to the curb's wins are off of up tilt. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me, honestly. <laughs> the oh curve. my goodness, a little drag down up air into the up tilt? It, the up air will, from Curvy will take it at 37%. Do the curve didn't do too much, but that's pretty solid, especially for someone as light as Curvy. Yeah, absolutely. A quick forward air. Oh. Now, does, does Curvy Ooh. really uh, go for... Oh my goodness, the... Copy abilities oh. very often. Oh my goodness! Beautiful showing right yes. there from two to curb. 
Nice little combo yeah. right there. Does, does Kirby really go for the copy abilities very um, often? I don't recall him using them very really, often. Not really, no. I think tournaments. like every once in a while Kirby will, but in most cases he'll just go in with just default kit. Okay. It's probably one of those weird Still. moves that uh they don't get hard coded with. And a nice Oh my down goodness, smash. little down air and a down smash right there. Very nice. Similar situation to the last stock. Um, yeah, Kirby is kind of on death's door right now, though. Uh, straight forward smash or down smash from two to curb will do it. We believe in Kirby, though. Oh, or, or the jet hammer. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes that jet hammer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cur Kirby really wanting to land <laughs> that up smash. Throwing out those Gordos. Uh, and the up air the is up going to no, take the it. Up air. Two to curb moves on with only thirty percent on his last stock. It was a good showing for both players. Some really nice moments, but two to curb really bringing it in today. Yeah. All right. So our next round: Salt Lord versus Pax. Both very capable amiibo. Um, as far as matchups go, Ganon does lose this, but these are amiibo, so. <laughs> Anything can happen. Pax is a pretty solid amiibo on his own, right? How big brained is he, though? Um, considering most of the Pac Man's I've fought in bracket, not super big brain, but he has enough brains <laughs> to deal some serious damage to his opponents. But Salt Lord, currently with the percent lead. Pretty much. At, yeah, uh, opening up with the punch. Oh, and he stole Pax Cherries. Let's see what he can oh! do with them. Oh, Z-Drop into the Ganon side. I mean, not a Ganon side. It didn't drag him off the stage, but I call yeah. any aerial flame choke the Ganon side. Yeah. Oh, the up smash will take oh, it. Oh, the up smash. Salt Lord loves that up smash. Yeah, and with only 100%, Never mind. <laughs> With only 100%, he is now dead. <laughs> yes. But Salt Lord is capable of taking Pax's stocks earlier, so this may not be as much of an uphill battle as it would seem at first. Yeah, I mean, nice Pax forward smash is very strong, but aside from that, he doesn't have a whole lot of kill options that can oh, the finish Pax Salt Lord early on. Very nice back air right On there. On the other hand, he could end, uh, Salt Lord can end packs at less than 100, like he just did. Just throwing out the up smash does not work out as well for him as earlier. Okay, uses his jump, makes it back. Oh, that down air, though. I love that down air. Yeah. Oh! And just barely makes it back with that up E. Oh. Salt Lord's gotta get some percent on the table here. Oh, he's going for that trying, down air. <laughs> just trying to end it already. He's just like, yeah. No, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Your constant. I mean, fruit with rage, annoying. and on this stage, that might have done it. Yeah. If he had landed that down air. <sighs> the punch. Another it up does. smash. It does. Oh, the hydrant still staying out for quite some time oh. there. <laughs> Going for the volcano kick. What a champ. Unfortunately, he does not hit it, but he doesn't get punished too hard for it, so. Yeah. Overall, I'd say success. Um, Pax managing to tack on 55%. Uh, it's not looking good for Salt Lord, but once again, Pax is pretty much one hit away from death. Pax has got to be careful. Oh, no. I think that was his last jump. Oh, and that'll do oh. it. Oh. Yeah. And Pax takes wow. another Despite Salt Lord. fighting a losing battle the entire time, Pax takes the game. Yeah. Good performance for both Amiibo, though. Like. Yeah, so absolutely. Salt Lord did a good job. Next up, we have Toriyama versus third place. The Slayer of Poison last game versus, um... The Slayer of Chad. <laughs> yes, the Cheese King himself. <laughs> yes. His best run being, now, like, completely made on recall, a third of Provolone. Oh, absolutely. 
I, I do recall that Toriyama in a lot of the other tournaments has struggled to escape the clutches of round one. Yeah. Um, it, whereas third place has consistently placed pretty highly. Yeah. I mean, third place didn't perform too well last time, but third place does tend to do a little better. Toriyama, yeah. though, is, is doing a pretty solid job. He wants to show that... Yeah. He, he, I took out poison, all there. right? I am not one to be trapped with. <laughs> Gets saved by the Nair. Oh. A lot of offstage play with oh, these the... characters. Yes. Which is not a good place for Krom to be. Like, Krom can't do offstage, but it's better if he just throws out some of his buttons on the ground. Some of his strongest stuff is on the ground for this character. Yeah. Oh, Toriyama just going for it. Third place looking to make something happen. He's, uh, Toriyama trying to get some reading done, but third place says, you're in the heat of battle. There will be no reading. <laughs> there are better places to read a book than the middle of battle, you know. <laughs> oh, but that, Oh, no! That kaswoosh! Gimping third place, unable to make it back <gasps> with his recovery, Kill but the, the Awakening Oops. Blade taking Toriyama's first stock... Perhaps third place. Oh can no! Him. Oh no! See something oh, out no. here. No, he, it's all right. He's got still got his jump. <laughs> he scared me. He scared me. He's like, no, I'm yeah, done with yeah. this. I can't deal with this. After that swoosh kill, I I can't do this. Toriyama throwing out a lot of hitboxes. I think third place would do well to use his counter a little more. Yeah, unfortunately, amiibos aren't very inclined to be using their counter moves. As sad mm. as this. Oh, it depends on your outlook, because otherwise you just have a. Uh, if uh, Poison used Revenge as much as Chris tends to do, then he would be throwing out Revenge all the time. Not to say that Chris is, like, always just... Oh, no! The Fireball! Oh, the frizz! Toriyama! Dethroning third place! No third place win for our boy today. But yeah, as I was saying, Chris doesn't, like, throw out... Um, revenge super precariously. But he definitely does it a little more than uh, Poison tends to do. In all fairness, uh, Revenge is a very good tool for Incineroar to have, especially considering the matchups that he struggles in, typically. Yeah. And, like, he's got a low... Like, the, the Incineroar amiibo, he's got a Lola Whip, so... Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, but next up we have Crock-Pot versus Seinfeld, yes. two big boys. One of them much heavier than the other, though. Yeah, and Seinfeld did take second place last tournament. Seinfeld is a very mm, capable yeah. amiibo. Once again, another amiibo that is unfortunately saddled with very bad matchups on his uh, round ones or round yes. twos. It hasn't had the best performance, but Kalos, it's a big stage, so that could mean... I mean... Bigger Ridley survival. does have a lot of kill power, so even though he might not have the survivability that Crockpot has, Crockpot might still be dying pretty early in this match. Yeah, and Seinfeld's um, Seinfeld's edge guarding is immaculate. So if he can edge guard <laughs> Crockpot well, which is a little more difficult to do with K. Rule, at least from above. Yeah. Uh... Oh no! But he gets the oh, up smash for the crowd foul into ups. The up smash. That's my boy. Those, that's the kind <laughs> of stuff we crave here in K. Rule Country. Brought a tear to his father's eye. <laughs> yes. Okay. Fly back up. Oh no! But he gets edge guarded. Over there. That might be it. Oh, no, not makes it back. White. I'm actually surprised he did. And the. The oh, there you go. I <laughs> I would have done the same thing in that situation, honestly. Indeed. Okay, Crockpot. Oh, up throwing the up air. Oh, no. Seinfeld opting to up the... In the neutral. Oh, okay. it gets hit with the up smash again. Oh, the up smash once again. Seinfeld's lightweight definitely hurting him here. When the down throw mashes out of it. Oh no! Oh no! Really oh, side low down, but it doesn't matter. Forgot to let go. It yeah. looked like he was about to, but it was a little too late for that. 
Uh, Crockpot taking it over Seinfeld. Honestly, without the SD, it looked like it was going in Crockpot's direction, all things considered. Yeah. So next we have Windows XP versus Night Mode. Now... Yes. I I like to use Night Mode on my apps on my Windows XP, personally. Ah, yes. I love Windows XP. Yes. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if uh, Windows XP has the latest in virus protection. <laughs> Alright, going to small battlefield. Nice neutral stage. Yeah. Like the mo I think the most neutral stage we've had tonight, if I remember correctly, from the lineup so far. I could be wrong. Uh, we have Midgar as well, which is pretty neutral, considering hazards aren't gone. Yeah. It is pretty much Battlefield. <laughs> With, uh, I just yes. longer platforms. Uh, Night Mode, unfortunately, uh, is hitting Windows XP. Windows XP's load times are not that great. Uh, so he's not really getting the download <laughs> on night mode. Um, yeah. Of course, there's uh, Windows XP's tendency to nair every chance he gets. Gets the tech! Oh my goodness! Saving from a not exactly an early death, but the drag down up smash will do the trick. You got you gotta love it when uh, Samus up air works. Or up smash, I should say. Up air works fine, it's up smash that has its issues still after five games. Yeah. Now Nightmo just has to kill. Tries to go for the back air, but it's like yeah, way off. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Windows XP being a big boy does make him more susceptible to Night Mode's multi hits. Yeah. That's just. That's just part of the problem of like. Like that up air and up smash once again, not killing, but still a very nice conversion from Night Mode. Indeed. Quick F tilt. Windows XP just not getting those kills that he needs. He he has to yeah. go for, like, you know, a kill move. Like, up there! There you like go! up there! There you go! Windows XP at 93%. Rob can live to a very long time, though, so... As long as he plays his cards right, he could deal some serious yeah, damage. He is, he is a heavy character. Yes. Is, uh, is Rob heavier than uh, Samus? Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, I would assume he I is. I think so. Maybe yeah. not by a whole lot. Rob but, doesn't yeah. look. I, I it. Rob's never really looked too heavy to me. I know he is a heavyweight, but he's never mm -hmm. really looked that heavy. The oh, once the again, up the up smash taking Windows XP's second stock. I think uh, Windows XP is running into oh! error. He gets hit with. Oh my goodness, sixty-three percent. Might about going for those down yeah. airs. Very good at hitting those damage. Unfortunately, Windows XP not getting those kill confirms. He must be running them off of Internet Explorer. Yes. There's also the problem that Windows Internet Explorer has shut down. So, um, yes. I don't know what he's thinking. Trying he doesn't to get know them. that yet. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't heard the news. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Once again, that up smash coming out. Oh, no. Will we see? The... Oh, okay. Trying to hit with the bear. It was like, yeah, Going you know what? Nair, what if I did hit. Nair instead? And then up smash from night mode will probably do it. The back air, at least he's not dying with the opponent has two stocks left. Oh, the up tilt not quite getting the kill. Night mode charging up their shot. The Zare. And the Nair, no JV. Windows can die happy. Unless Windows can pull us some miracle off. I don't think he's getting anywhere. He's uh, attacking on that damage, but it's not going to be enough. And the up air will air. do it. And Night Mode takes it for round one. And I believe this actually finishes off slide one as well. We'll be moving. Yep. Yeah, it does. Pretty solid first half. Some, uh, yeah. And uh, next up we have Dominance versus Acer. Yes. Both of these Amiibo performing very well this season in uh, various ways. Acer originally, before Sammy and Lou, held the record for the V-Jack Amiibo that got the farthest in bracket. Uh, yes. Dominance 
after a streak of just not being great, uh, surprisingly doing well these last few tournaments, added to the qualifier we had, uh, much to Kristichat's chagrin, he believes that Dominance's existence is the darkest timeline. Uh, but, <laughs> um, Acer putting on quite a bit of damage, and this stage does have some very close blast lines, so... Yeah, this is a very weird stage, but one that Dominance will probably be able to make better use of, considering, you know, Bowser. <laughs> yes. But he is getting uh, comboed pretty heavily by Acer. That's yeah, and Acer. Acer chasing him off stage. Hitting him with those up airs. Eventually, one of them is going to kill, but the down air almost killing him. Dominance does have rage at this point. So it's just a matter of who can hit with who can hit who with a kill move first. Neither of them really going for any. Acer trying to land with that down air is not really doing well for him. But the side smash will take the first stock. Wow, was that a side smash? I believe it was, yes. Wow. Honestly, if it didn't kill at that percent, I would be asking a lot of questions. <laughs> Dominic's trying to go for that up tilt. He loves that up tilt. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of your uh, big boy... Amiibos seem to really love their up tilts. Yeah. A lot of them are good though. Like Bowser's up tilt is not yes. that bad. Yeah, it's a good it's a solid up tilt. Oh, okay. <sighs> he tries chasing it off stage, but then decides to re recover weird. Uh not out of the not out of uh character for dominance though. <laughs> Who goes from weird recoveries to straight up just running off legend, not recovering, period. Depending <laughs> on his mood. And the side smash not oh, quite going to get the kill. The stun into the forward smash, not getting the sweet spot. Once again, this is a very bizarre stage to traverse. Yeah. And the up Especially that right side, the, the wall. Yeah. Definitely can make for some strange situations. Uh, one forwarder right there from Dominance would have done it, but... Oh, Ace we got manages to make it back. Down air city. <laughs> Roll up your shirt and jean shorts. <laughs> Acer tacking the damage on. Regardless but of... But if uh... Dominance can kill right now, he might still have a chance at winning this. Yeah. Like, even if, like, the Acer dies now, he's done some pretty solid work on the stock. So, I'd say, stock Absolutely. well spent. But, the up tilt, Dominance okay, at 117. Will we see Acer up slay there. the darkness and bring us to the light? Yeah, the two-week break is not doing Dominance any good. But he does have 73% no, on oh, deck. Oh, okay. Acer's got to screw up pretty hard to lose this. Up tilt, down air? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what did I say? Dominance using that heavyweight and those powerful hits to take the game <laughs> against all odds. Oh my goodness. Dominance. Saw a light at the end of the tunnel. I was just thinking to myself, this has pretty been a pretty standard, not uh, anything out of the ordinary bracket, but that one has just uh, has gotten things up, made things a little more exciting. <laughs> Speaking of which, we have Gamer versus Terrence next. Terrence always managing to put on a show, whether he loses or wins. I'm yes. excited to see how this next one goes. Indeed. And Gamer, the most inconsistent individual uh... I've ever had the displeasure of meeting. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have the Gamer Rage versus Terrence not knowing what round it is. And as long as he, <laughs> as long as he realizes it's not Grand Finals, the, the old saying, as long as it's not Grand Finals, Terrence... We'll take it. We'll see how angry yeah. Gamer can get. <laughs> Terrence. 
He always just gets knocked out after he finishes a round and blindfolded, and then he wakes up somewhere else, not knowing if he's still in the same tournament or not. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what round it is, doesn't know what tournament he's in, doesn't know who he's fighting. <laughs> he just gets like thrown to a reader. It's like, you fight! Now! <laughs> Oh boy, gamer uh, juggling Terrence with those up airs though. Gets a seven, gets the funny number from apples, and then immediately loses it. Terrence is at a very high percent right now. I didn't even know Pick yeah, could yeah. live that long. <laughs> but will Terrence be able to take the first stock? Oh, up airs. Uh, well, or using up special. Up and neutral. That uh, that. Gamer That's... opting to just juggle instead of going for a kill option there, though. Bold strategy. Let's see if it pays off. And okay, the Okay, Terrence takes off. first okay. blood. Okay. Using up B in neutral once oh. again. Oh, oh confident that Gamer would nail the one there. 204%. I didn't even know Pits could live that long. Like, either. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. And the down air. With 57% on the board. Terrence with a pretty solid lead starting off on his second stock. Yeah, absolutely. Using context 92%. Clues, he has realized it is not grand finals. And he is <laughs> tearing it up right now. Uh, is, is it if he believes that it's grand finals, then he will lose? Is that how it works? Yes, he never... He gets to grand finals, Understood. but he never never wins yeah he's gotcha. only won like twice like we have a bunch of these tournaments off offline like before we had um even started these streams we oh, started the, the series yeah yeah we run like dozens and dozens of tournaments and in the scenarios where terrence reaches grand finals 95 percent of the time he doesn't win them <laughs> but the down air gamer with 65 on deck 79 uh, Terrence wants to give with a very solid start to his next stock. Uh, this could be it for oh, Gamer. Oh, it is. Oh. oh, the down air, not going to do it. Yeah, if it went for the nair, that probably would have finished the job. But the forward air is going to take it. Terrence forward air will do it. Has taken it over Gamer. Gamer did not get angry enough. Uh, <laughs> now he's going to... Terrence realized there's no way that Gamer would make it to grand finals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm safe right now. Yes. Uh, welcome, welcome, Rand. Uh, you think Plaza's standing right behind me? Uh. And he was given two sauces with his hibachi. Hey, oh. I'd say that's an absolute win. <laughs> now, the heel of the league, Poison, versus Lumberjack. I think, uh, seems fitting, given that Incineroar is called the heel Pokemon. So, yes. Uh, versus Lumberjack, who has had one really good performance, and a couple of passable, if he's not eliminated round one. So, we'll see how that plays out here. Um, yeah, let's see if Lumberjack is able to be the second amiibo to take Poison out. Just in general. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, it gets hit with the up smash immediately, but that down air, it is a strong one. And Poison now in the wood chipper. If Poison can't land, yeah, that's struggling to get back to the ground. Unfortunately, uh, Poison does not make a good use of revenge. He probably could have escaped that juggle oh, combo that... earlier if he had done that. Little DBZ moment there, both yeah. players being launched to opposite sides yeah. of the stage, and we're getting back into the thick of it now. Yeah, Lumberjack almost died from that at 82. <laughs> yeah. But Poison is in a bit of trouble right now, but he has Rage and uses it to kill with the up smash. Lumberjack losing his first stock. Don't count this boy out just yet. If, that, if he can keep up the momentum he had at the beginning, I think he could take this. He just needs to make yeah. sure Poison can't land. Back and throw. Unfortunately, Byleth does not have kill throws to uh, make use of here. <sighs> oh, that was oh the reaction. tech off of the ledge attack. 
Lumberjack, Lumberjack not managing that... to land. That is one of Violet's weaknesses, having a difficult time landing. Yeah. Unfortunately, Poison is catching all Lumberjack's landings. Tries to go for the vibe check, but Amiibos don't really fall for that. Uh, the up tilt is going to do it. Lumberjack at 85. Not a, the best position to be in right now. No. And the... You're... Especially right now. <laughs> yeah, that a little whip finishing the stock nice and quick. Uh, Lumberjack needs to avoid those down airs because Poison is very good at landing those down airs. And it's very devastating what he's able to do with those. Uh, Lumberjack needs to find a way to come back from this. Almost dies. Not way out though oh so with the down air lumberjack is trying his best to try and find an opening poison not letting him have it though oh he'll let him would... have it escape escape with the low <laughs> and the up smash is going he'll let to him it. Have it. <laughs> and poison uh predictably enough taking it over lumberjack lumberjack had a pretty strong yeah. start but after uh in after Poison landed that first time, it was pretty much over. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it is unfortunate that uh, Poison, you know, continues to do this well. Uh, personally, I, I just uh, want to see more variety in the winners of these tournaments. Yeah, like, but right now I'm thinking he might he might once again take this tournament, but you never know. Maybe yeah. Terrence will believe that it's not grand finals. Yeah, he does have to get behind. He does have to get past these next players, either three E or Hyben. Now both of these characters have consistently been knocked out in round one. Yes, meaning that this is going to be one of their first victories in round to get to round two. Um, my money is more on 3E, but Hyben could prove me wrong. Really? Yeah, 3E is, a, believe it or not, when he's not live, he's a pretty competent amiibo overall. Hyben okay. can do things sometimes if, Hyben, if uh, they put their mind to it. But, um, otherwise... <laughs> and it That's why I was thinking Hyben... Yeah, More so feels... had a shot at this because he's got those disjoints. Three does not have the range that Hyben does. Yeah, and three doesn't really play too much of that zoning game that uh, Banjo excels at, which makes yeah. sense uh, given his trainer because Chris doesn't play <laughs> yes. Banjo with as much zoning. Uh, I don't believe he's a fan of those eggs. He he'll use the grenade egg, but three E does not use the grenade egg that often. Uh, that up till Hyben oh, taking that... the first stock. Wow. That wasn't a very high percent, though. So if 3E can continue to stay alive that long while also getting percent and kills, uh, he should be in a good position. Back throw, not going to kill. Tries to throw the grenade egg. Tries to edge guard, but the Wonder Wig is going to oh, take it. Oh, very nice. The most terrified of screams. Uh, 3E is only <laughs> 35 on deck not a bad position to be in for this next stock thank you ray chase <laughs> voice of hyven yes both players kind of oh the wonder way uh, nice little combo from oh. three three is just uh Doing a little bit of um, mind games. He's like, I'm going to make him think that he's in the lead. And then I'm going to absolutely total him. And while he blew himself with the grenade egg, uh, I won't count him out just yet. The footstool. Well, the not footstool at the ledge. Not going to take it, though. It's it's enough of a message to get Hyben, Hyben scared. Yeah. Hyben not really able to secure these kills. Keeps getting no. a sour spot on his aerials. Yep. And the back throw is not quite going to take it, but that it. egg is going but to do the, the trick. will do it. Uh, 3 out of 166 on his second stock. He still has some Wonder Wing on deck. A sour spot down there. Hypen's got to stop landing Ooh. these sour spots if he wants to make something happen. And there you and go. He listened to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his jump is Ooh. gone. He makes it back. Yep, and three really starting to rack on that damage. Had a bit of a rough start, but 
three has yeah. found the rhythm that they need, and I don't, I don't know. Like, Hybrid needs to make something happen and fast, but unfortunately, Hybrid has not been able to secure these kills, so it might be in three E's favor this time. Going for that raw down smash, three E not having any of it. Yeah, three E smells victory, and they he wants it. He wants that victory. But uh, three E is laying on that pressure. Just has to gimp Hybin real back quick. Back air, not going Hybin making up. it back against all odds. Hybin needs Suddenly to get this Suddenly a very close now. match. The Hybin, back throw. Oh no. The sweet spot, but not quite getting the kill. But the forward air is going to do 3E it. 3E with the forward air. 3E. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 3E I'm is... being impartial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not upset that Hyven won. Not at all. No. Hyven lost. No, definitely not. 3E, taking it over Hyben. And for the first time, making it to round two. <laughs> Alright, so next we have Village Rome, Ben Tennyson. Both second place champions of previous Yeah, both, both very good players. Yeah. Village Rome's going to have to zone out uh, Ben. And Ben, yeah, I mean, hitting those tippers. Ben, yeah, Ben is very good at hitting those tippers. Villager Rome has a really good recovery, though, so I think Ben is going to have a hard time edgeguarding him, whereas Villager Rome is not going to have the same problem. Yeah. Yeah, Ben does take a little bit of time Those to start. Oh, and he just he gets, hit with the, he gets hit with the silly. And he jumps <laughs> into the up smash. I, I don't think uh, Ben's in the best position at the moment. Uh, but not quite out yet. Starting to rack on that damage on Village Rome and Villagers a little more light. Oh, the down air! Not con, not not confirming. Oh, the that down air! Smash, though, we'll do it. It doesn't though. matter. Uh, this must remind Ben Tennyson of the time he saved the entire universe. <laughs> he's doing. He's doing his best. He's trying to rack on a little bit of damage before Village Rome comes in with his own Ooh, attack. Very nice Rome tech. Loves those turnips. Absolutely adores them. But the down air, not oh, quite the going down to air do spike, it. not gonna do it. Most other characters that would have been it, but Villager has a really good recovery, so Yeah, one of the best in the game. Oh my goodness. Ben Tennyson chasing Villager Rome yeah. Down into the depths of the pit. Yeah, even if like he's got some pretty solid percent on here, even if he dies now, which he just did. Uh, Village Rome does have quite a bit of damage. Ben Tennyson did put the work in last stock. <sighs> Tries to go for another down air. Hits the balloons instead. Loving that down air as much as classic Ben loved forearms, I see. Indeed. Oh, the raw up smash. Not gonna, not gonna hit. Village Rome getting kind of desperate, it seems. Oh, the tipper back air. I think Village Rome, uh, is thinking... Yo, that up smash, he, he just jumped into it before. If I do it again, will he jump into it again? <laughs> <laughs> ben Tennyson yeah. is a very commanding lead right now. Absolutely. But I wouldn't count Villagerome out just yet. Villagerome Absolutely has not. made comebacks like this before. Down air once the again. Up smash will finish. Up smash will up. do it. Only 59%. Villager Rome could make this happen. He could, but Ben is. Uh, one one right. good edge guard and it's over. Oh, season three Ben happening right now. <laughs> season three Ben. <laughs> we'll see if that see if that pays off. Unlike the series. Oh, tries to go for a shield break. Oh! Vildrum slowly making back that percent. Ben needs to go for a kill now, otherwise he, it's ben over! It is over! It is ben over! Ben Zenison edge guarded, and Villagerom taking it. Seemingly from the brink of defeat. Villagerom is like, no, I got Bye. this. I got this. <laughs>
No. <laughs> Yo, it's it's Jack JM. Welcome. All of my Fire Emblem boys are out. There's nothing to live for anymore. Oh. Oh no. Wait, is there? Is that it? No, that's it. Whoops. <laughs> Third place, Hyven and Ben Tennyson and Lumberjack all out of the tournament. Dang. Next up, though, we have Blip versus Busta Move. Both pretty good players uh, have placed highly in past tournaments. Yes. So it'll be interesting to see. Will Blip take this? Because, like, I think Blip will want to go and get that uh, run back against Villagerone from last... Ah, um, <laughs> yes. From last time. Busta Move. A uh, bit of a rough time last tournament. Probably wants to make up for those losses. Uh, nice, uh, nice combo so far. Both of them not really going for any, like, major combos, I say, as uh, Buster Move puts on quite a bit of damage with his... Uh, yeah. Blip going low. Uh, Blip is... Uh, okay, and the back dying. air will do it! There is the death. Uh, Buster Move at only 63%. Uh, pretty good in terms of, like, uh, just damage, you know? Because, like, when he gets to that 100, it's definitely a good thing. But, also being at yeah. 1%, you know what, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Comeback mechanics or not. Goes for the oh, bread and jab, butter. Jab, power dunk, not connecting. You'll love to see it. <laughs> And the up smash not quite going Ooh, to do it. Up smash Bust, not gonna do it. Bust move has Bust move has ghost sauce now. See what he can do with it. Uh, unfortunately, Blip is making sure he can't use it, but he he goes down low, not quite. Oh, okay, the tech. That was an interaction. <laughs> that uh, was an interaction. Trying to secure the kill, he secures there the kill. There goes the up smash. Blip saying, nah, man, you bust wolves, not foxes. <laughs> He's like, I... Power dunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't come back, so you just, you just hit him. I, ha I have no argument to make there. Power dunk. <laughs> <laughs> Solves all of his problems. Bust him with a pretty solid lead. He yeah, two stock lead here. Quick up air, back air. Ooh, very oh, nice. Yeah. Nice edge there. guards. Nice and edge guards. Go. That is going Beautiful to be it. Beautiful edge guard from Blip. Dang. Blip Robbing is... Bust a move of the ability to use that ghost sauce. Suddenly, this could be Blip's game. He is still in this. Ooh, Another not quick power dunk off stage. Oh, that actually gave him no more edge problems. Guard. Quick up smash. Blip is holding on. He is slowly making that damage back. And he's already got him at 82%. Very close 90. to death. Buster Move could choke this yeah. if he's not careful. Finally gets a chance to breathe. <sighs> oh. Quick forward throw. <sighs> oh. Rising tackle is not okay. going to do it. Rising anything. tackle. Blip also has to be careful though. One more hit and bust a move will have, have Ghost Sauce, but it doesn't matter. The Task. rising tackle is gonna kill off the top. Yes. Task failed successfully. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bust a move. Gonna move on to round two. Begin his redemption arc. Yes. Oh, Jam makes a good point about uh the round with Ben and Villager, you was saying, he did not use the Ultimatrix. <laughs> yes. So, next up, we have Balls McGee versus Hot Wings. Yes. Both... Balls McGee, a uh, bit of a fan favorite, especially among a certain somebody. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, he is absent tonight, but I'm sure he is uh, typing balls in the chat in spirit. This is uh, one of Vanilla Jack's personal favorite amiibo overall. Uh, Hot Wings is uh, 
Hot Wings is a pretty solid amiibo in and of himself. Uh, doing either doing a pretty solid job or getting knocked out. I think he's had like one or two last place um, placements. I, but I over... don't believe I have ever seen these two, like either of these two, compete. Every time their uh, matches came up, I had to like go eat dinner or something, so I missed <laughs> those matches. So I I am going in blind with this one. Well, uh, so it looks like Balls has the lead here. Uh, <laughs> I can see that. Pretty much, solid yeah. <laughs> up air string. We got the Zard out. Um, doesn't use Flare Blitz that much, which is not a bad thing necessarily. But what are you talking about? That's a tragedy. Use the big funny explodey move with Balls McGee. I don't know. I mean, he's handling pretty well right now. Oh, he uh, absolutely is. And the back air will take that it. Balls McGee very is clean back looking air. to uh, not get the three stock. I am stupid. Hot Wings <laughs> answering back with a back air of his own. Quick up air. Back to Ivysaur. Um, has not made an awkward switch yet. Because, like, one of the things that... Uh, one of the things that Balls McGee has a problem with is uh, switching to Squirtle at the most inopportune times. Doesn't matter what percent it is. It could be at zero, could be at 150. Uh, <laughs> oh, the down air spike! That down air spike. Gotta finish the, it, finish the match. Zord down air is vicious. Absolutely. Balls McGee moves on. Indeed. That downer spike was very unexpected, but it was very welcome. Uh, it was looking like Hello, it's gonna the be exalted LT. Welcome to the tournament. Yeah, yo, what's up? Uh, that amiibo was my brother Vanilla Jack. Um, so for for a little bit of context, um, this, um. Tournament overall is like a combination of amiibos trained by me and my brothers. Uh, so, uh, my brother Vanilla Jack has the least number, and one of them is Balls McGee, and another one of his is actually about to come up, Luigi, and Ab and Ablex, which is Ablex, Chris, Chris Ablex? Chats amiibo. Is Ablex, yes, Ablex, is, okay. uh, one of Chris Chat's amiibo. Uh, let's go see. Ablex kind of popped off like in one bracket, and then has not been able to recreate that magic since. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Luigi is pretty solid in his own right too. So we'll see how this goes. This could be free for Luigi, or Ablex could just decide to pop off. He just pops off when he wants to. That's <laughs> that's yeah. how he works. You know, he, he just wakes up on the right side of the bed. You know, Zelda's like Link. Open your eyes. And he's like, all right. <laughs> Today's going to be a good day. My girl got me up. I'm ready to go. Uh, does not make but unfortunately, does not manage to recover. His girl forgot to wake him up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps, yeah. He's late for the tournament. He's, his socks don't yeah. match. He's that, that's why heroes. this is the last... Uh, the last set of this side of the tournament is because Ablex uh, was late. Yeah. <laughs> His alarm woke him up. And he put it on snooze five times. Yeah. <laughs> but Luigi does not make any kind of lead. Uh, Ablex able to uh, take Luigi's stock. And uh, now Luigi's getting a little bit of a lead here. Yeah. Nice 60%. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> nice! Dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were too late to laugh. <laughs> Ablex should be using his range a bit more here. Luigi would struggle against him a lot more if he kept him at arm's length. Yeah. And he is he is trying. He is trying to use those projectiles a bit more, but Yeah. Uh unfortunately they're not really in the general direction of Luigi, so. Uh, but Luigi looking to take this, but Ablex is not going out without a fight. And just blows him up! <laughs> it's like... All right. 
Let's see if Ablex uh, is gonna represent. Got to make his girl proud. Indeed. Nice oh, up nice up little forward air up smash. Oh, oh, okay. This is unfortunately like a, a lot of these. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Ablex slowly making this back. Unfortunately, a lot of these amiibo uh, seem to charge smash attacks uh, for too oh long. Oh my goodness! Oh, Ablex, Ablex say it was this back. long enough? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, wow. Everything else sucks, but Zelda made him breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> so it was all good. It was all good. Yeah. All Ablex right, wants Ablex, to go home soon, on. dude. Dinner is ready. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so uh we are going to take a quick break we'll uh say yes. five minutes we will be back around um yeah take a quick five minutes um, yeah, be back we'll at, be... at uh 8 20 yeah 9 20 your time yes uh thank you all for coming out so far be sure to stay tuned for round two and onward
All right, fellas, we are back. We were just waiting for uh, Plasmaster real quick to return. Let me give me a quick sec. I am here. I cannot hear you on Discord, though, uh, Darth. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. I can hear you now. Excellent. Um, okay. Wonderful. Uh, we are going to get right back into it. So let's uh, transition over to our game scene once more. I apologize for the dark screen. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for those in our audience who are not from America. <laughs> <laughs> so, the food's going to be cold. He's going around too. Throw it, in, throw, it in the, throw it in the microwave. You see, that was an America reference. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's from Lucas Dittos. He said that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That takes me back to, like, what? Two weeks ago. <laughs> oh boy. Uh yeah. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able, going to do grudge matches tonight or not. But if there are anybody that's interested in uh, seeing a round replayed after the tournament is over, just uh, give a quick shout out. Otherwise, we're just going to end it there. So. Let's uh, get back into it. So, beginning on round two, we have Hello versus On My Bike. On My Bike with a pretty solid first game. Uh, hard to say with Hello, given how uh, his opponent... <laughs> he is going against Chad, <laughs> He's going yeah. against Chad, as unfortunate of a statement that is to make. Um, but in the case of Hello... Uh... All right, pilot wings. Uh, this might be a difficult stage for Hello to get his edge guards on. Yeah. Well, the warrior is uh, since they are medium platforms, and uh, Wario has a pretty good recovery. Yeah. As long as he has that bike, he's golden. And yeah. he has not pulled out the bike just yet. And you know, in the next ten seconds, he's going to pull out the bike because I said it. Oh but... yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, as it stands at the moment, uh, both players are kind of pretty even so far on my bike living through that. Uh, but pulls out the bike. Don't know if that was 10 seconds, but uh, unfortunately it it's not probably, I think it was like exactly 10 seconds. <laughs> I was riding that bike okay, down right there. Right back on his bike. <laughs> you know, he just wanted to feel the wind in his hair for a second. Yes. Uh, even dies. though he's, you know, standing on an airplane. Yeah. You wanted to feel it from a different direction. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, because hazards are not on, uh, we are going to be staying on this red plane, and it's not going to be tilting at all. Yes. Um, also absent are the uh, hitboxes that uh, some buildings and other structures will have uh, as the plane flies past them. So these competitors don't have to worry about any of that. It's just... Uh, a good old fashioned brawl on top of an airplane. Yes. All As good you do. All good fighting games have airplane stages. Smash has it, yeah. Street Fighter has it. That is honestly one of the coolest stages in five, is us fighting on top of an airplane. Yeah. Uh but anyway. Pretty close game. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not go about the game. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, pretty close game here. Between these two, the up smash, uh, the up smash from on my bike will take it, and he uh, has walk same on up deck. smash that defeated Sen Noodles last time, last round. Yes, and he actually uses Ooh, the, the fart in a good way. Okay, thirty-four <laughs> percent, nice lead. You know what? You take what you can get. The other times in this yeah. tournament, he's just straight up done it without even being close to the opponent. So. <laughs> Well, he's, you know, he's just got to yeah. let off a bit of pressure sometimes. Poking Hello, not really giving Hello much of a chance oh, to get in. Back throw will kill, though. Yeah, but with 94%, All My Bike has a very solid lead right now. Absolutely. Oh, 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 he's a little confused oh, from cape that cape. Messing up his forward smash. 
I was getting comboed. Hello, trying to make this back. It's completely possible for him to do it at this point, but all my bike throws him out. Throws him off stage. Not quite getting a kill or anything. Uh, Chop would do it, but... But the down air will do it as well. I think for the down air instead. And all my bike moves on to round three. I do believe that is the first time I've ever seen Wario down air kill in this game. Oh, really? Yeah. Just because it's so bizarre. Yeah. I mean, like, last... Like, I've, I've seen a kill before, and, like, when watching Clue Tony sets and all that. But... Yeah, no. That high? Not usually. Hey, last guitar. Thank Yo, you for coming up, out. Laz? Good to see ya. Indeed. So, next up, we have Cloud Fieri versus Tuta Curb. Uh, both... Taking a uh, pretty decisive rounds last time. Yeah, and um, both of these are very talented amiibo as well. Um, two to curb. Yeah. Um, might be a little better than Cloud. Um, but also, Cloud. I'm just also... gonna pretend you didn't say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just stating the facts. I'm trying to get some pre commentary without just straight up saying, "I hope Cloud wins, and I hope he can break the." Uh, break the curse of getting knocked out round two because that is the farthest he's ever gone in this league yeah uh, yeah a good chunk a, a bit of it has to do with matchups but um you don't say except for that one time where he just straight up sd'd but <laughs> yeah uh we'll see how this plays out we'll see if he'll repeat that mistake or if he'll finally make it to round three uh, yeah. But two to curb is a pretty capable amiibo. Kills pretty early too, so uh, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, yeah. All right. So we're starting uh, with Halberd here on the ground. Both players getting to safety on this platform here. If you are standing on the ground there, you will die when the platform takes off. Yes. Uh, both of these uh, opponents are... Ooh, the limit cross slash. They are um, both staying pretty even with percents, all things considered. Uh, Cloud yeah. with a pretty solid lead, though. He needs to keep this up because Tuta Curb could kill him at any time. He loves... He's throwing out that up he tilt. loves using those up tilt, that up smash. Speaking of... Tuta Curb he loves taking stocks off the ceiling. Cloud Fury is stuck doing that down air, but decides, yo, we're gonna do Nair instead. Uh, trying to hit with that down air again. Yeah. It's not working out for him, though. He is not spacing these well. Huda Curb wants to see his opponents soar among the clouds, while Cloud Fieri just wants to send them straight down to Hell's kitchen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and the limit climb oh. hazard! <laughs> Never mind. Cloud Fieri wanted to show two to curb what it was like to be sent off the top like that. And he's already even tying up this percent before uh, two to curb wins, it, wins advantage and makes my commentary yeah. invalid. <laughs> <laughs> Throws out the, a couple the, of the stage. The stage has gotten bigger now that that platform has landed. Uh, both players have more space to work with here. That uh, and with Cloud Fieri being the more mobile character, he might be able to make good use of that and turn this around. You just see limit back oh, on deck. Okay. Yep. Kick down air. Down air. And limit and climb, the limit climb hazard not... again. Not gonna kill. Tries a normal climb hazard. Has not gotten... I'm... Okay. 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 That's fine. I didn't want to commentate anyways. <laughs> what? I was going to say, has it got hit yet? And then he gets hit with a straight Gordo. Um, <laughs> Cloud Fairy taking a bit of damage. That up smash not quite going to kill. But he does have to be careful because he's a kill percent for another one of those up smashes. Or an yeah, up tilt will do tilt. just fine at 103%. And Cloud Fieri, unfortunately... Uh, getting knocked out in round two. Two to curb, telling him to stay where he belongs. And moving on to round three. 
Congratulations to uh, to the curb. Um, very happy for him. Uh, <laughs> getting uh, getting move on around three. Super cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have Pax versus Toriyama. Uh, Pax managing to steal that last game against Salt Lord. Uh, at the very end, whereas Toriyama had a very commanding lead the whole way through his match was third place, so we've kind of got the best of both worlds here. Yeah. Uh, so let's see if Toriyama is able to carry that momentum into round yeah. two. Or is maybe it... Pax will steal another sneaky win. Perhaps. We are a Mementos. It's a very large stage. Yeah, so we're going to Mementos. Stage... He can get some uh, reading done without much interruption. <laughs> yeah. For the dip. Okay. That that hydrant looked like it just spawned on the stage. Yeah. It didn't even look like Pax dropped it. <laughs> uh, Toriyama okay, had a lot is... more time to look through his spell list. Doing some offstage thing again. Probably trying to avoid the hydrant. Yeah. Nice tech. Unfortunately, having to use a lot of MP on those five uppies <laughs> just to make it back to stage. As you do. <laughs> yeah. He's off stage. Not quite going to do it, though. Because swoosh is a very good recovery. Just throw out the fireball, but the slant messing him up. Uh, tries to hit with the down smash, but does not quite get it. Uh, Toriyama, Toriyama needs continuing to, to use oh, his favorite okay. spell, Kaskush, but the zap will do it. Oh, gets gets hit with the apple, gets a psych up real quick, not getting a chance to use it. Yeah, Toriyama struggling to carry that momentum from his match against third place, but he's got the psych up, wastes it on a nair. That was a forward. Oh, wait, was it a nair? It was, was a nair, yeah. Goes oh, base Toriyama going for the Hocus Pocus <laughs> and turning invisible and somehow becoming visible again? How did that happen? I don't know. Like, did they just decide, yeah, like, you were one frame off, so you don't yeah, get to be I visible. That's literally, I've back. never seen that happen, ever. Yeah, that, I've never seen that happen before. Uh, we got the psych up coming in again. Wasted on another nair. That is what we call a boneheaded move uh, <laughs> in the business. Pax throwing out those up smashes once oh, again. Oh, throws the kaboom. Not the kaboom. Not gonna do it. Toriyama it using hit. his favorite spell again. And quick down the players air. trying to get a hit in Pax getting that down air charging up the fireball he did get the oh. win that last time with that and the sizzle yeah. is going to get oh, the but kill. the sizzle will take it and Toriyama still has Kafriz if he can hold on to it he can probably win <gasps> this Ooh, nice phrase is a very strong projectile uh, okay opting for the Pax doesn't, the Pax doesn't know what to do there Pax doesn't know what to do Goes with the down air. All right, Pax funny. going the down air. Hydrant launching the wrong way. Oh. He still has that Kafriz on deck. Yeah. And uses and it, but misses. Pax barely managing to escape that. Toriyama, Toriyama is out, but with 53%. Getting dipped by that Hydrant. Quick Flame Slash. Tries to go for an edge guard, but is very hard to edge guard that power pellet. I learned that the hard way yesterday, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting to use the flame slash. Uh, Toriyama plays his cards right. He's pretty much got this in the bag. Misses oh, the, the Kafriz. Goes with the snooze, but Pax shields Pax it. Pax manages to block it. Quick heal. That's not, that's not a bad heal. choice. Pax that killed oh, the water right might have saved him from that down air. And the forward air to take and it! Toriyama! Toriyama coming on. back! Moving on to Toriyama's round Toriyama's looking to have a tournament named after him now.
And Toriyama moving on to round three. Meanwhile, on the other side, Turniyama. we have... Turniyama. Hmm? Turniyama. <laughs> so next up, we have Crockpot versus Night Mode. Yes. Um, Crockpot? Night Mode, uh... Go ahead. <laughs> Crockpot, it's kind of hard to say whether he had a really good round or not because Seinfeld kind of <laughs> threw it. I mean, yeah. he did okay, but he did, but the round was ultimately thrown by Seinfeld. Uh, Night Mode, yeah. on the other hand, have a very solid, uh, definitively solid lead against Windows XP. Yeah, using the up air and up smash a lot against uh, Windows XP won that match, I think. Uh, yeah. th these big boy, these big boys, they struggle to escape from multi hits. So if Night Mode can make good use of that in this match, they might have this, despite struggling a little bit. Oh no, the sides here, eating a forward smash from Crockpot. Crockpot, kind of uh, has a pretty commanding lead right now. Not the most in-character thing for him, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> the quick up air. Um, a couple of those uh, dream crushers, as we called them in the studio. <laughs> and uh, tries to push oh, the dash okay. attack, but Night Mode mashes out. Night Mode trying to get that down air, but... Crockpot's recovery... Yeah, you can't really protecting him from the you can't above. Really, uh, punish K rule, or like edge guard K rule from above. You got to do it from the side. Was using that. Okay, up the mayor will take it though. Get in that position. Yeah, Crockpot uh, losing his first stock and immediately taking night modes with only nine point five percent on deck. <laughs> oh, okay. Very nice All little right. conversion there. Night mode slowly but surely Ooh. trying to make their way back. Uh, and while they have done quite a bit of damage, I'm not sure if it'll be. In well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It depends on how fast Crockpot could build up damage on his own. Because right now, night mode is out damaging Crockpot much more in these, these last few seconds than Crockpot has. He gets night mode. Yeah. Now, he is a heavyweight, so he could just do that in a little... In a lot less time, but still. Oh, the forward air? No. Opting to recover. Yeah. Playing it safe. The, the up smash, smash will do it! Night, night mode. mode at 106. They need to play it safe if they want to make this happen. Oh, no. That's not quite it. Misses the side smash. Making use of those multi hits. Oh no! And the back air oh, will take it. The back air. It looked like Night Mode might have been able to survive that, but Amiibos don't DI. Yeah. And Crockpot moves on to round three. Indeed. And I believe this also finishes side one. It does. I am smart. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So next up, we have Terrence versus Dominance. Ter Dominance coming back from the depths of defeat, honestly. Like, yeah. in all honesty, he shouldn't have won that one. <laughs> yeah. But he did, yeah. thanks to Rage and Back Air. Uh, Terrence, on the other yep. hand, um, putting together... Wait, this isn't Grand Finals. And taking it over, Gamer. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll now see if Terrence will uh, wake up again <laughs> in a new a new fight. <laughs> He's the we'll winner. Piece soldier. together if this is grand finals or not. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see how these two work it out. All right, PS2, the only competitive stage that's allowed to exist. Yep. Uh, <laughs> But Terrence with a very strong start, getting 56 on Dominance. Dominance quickly starting to make that back. And he has made that back. Yeah. Uh, Terrence isn't quite out yet. Terrence still not his... getting the spike hitbox of that down air. Probably would have done him in, even with the double jump still active. 
And an F tilt, not quite getting the kill. <sighs> Ooh. Terrence at kill percent. Uh, does up, uh, 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 up B in the neutral. In the neutral. Leaving himself wide open for that up tilt from dominance. Good, good, good job, Terrence. He's trying to get a better view, trying to see if he can see the bracket and see what round he's in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to edge guard Dominus, but Dominus uh, jumps out. Oh! Ooh, gets the down spiked. air spike! Dominus. And it's even just like that. Yeah. Dominus was just showing, like, look, look what I could do, look what I could do, look what I could dodge. And then Terrence is like, <laughs> nah, screw you. And then spiked him. Enough. <laughs> Enough, yes. Enough, child. <laughs> We go Terrence with the percent and the spike. Oh, Terrence, with Terrence another spike, taking the lead. Gotta look at yeah, that bracket you and realize count dominance out yet though. Because Acer was also in the lead pretty much the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And a quick down air will finish down Terrence air off. Will do it. Looks Ter like he di'd that out. Yeah. Uh, Dominus was a pretty. Um, minimal starting cool. percent and even with the damage he's done right now that doesn't really mean much to the grand scheme of things unless terrence can get yeah. one of the, get a spike off stage again which he attempts to do a couple of times uh, oh no he oh, gets the spike but, it is, it's but no it's not enough. enough he does have the yeah, right idea though he does have the right those idea. aerials oh but he gets the spike the second one for the kill terrence terrence takes it over dominance Wow. I'm starting to reconsider whether he should have won his game one, but... <laughs> As Chris would say, he has ended the darkest timeline. Yes. Uh, speaking of the darkest timeline, Poison. Poison? Gonna be going up against 3 you now. Now, it's been so long since I've seen these two fight that I don't have any idea how this goes. I want to say 3E does well against Poison. You know how it goes. But I don't know. We all know how we it goes. Poison it goes. wins. We could have a surprising <laughs> upset. 3E has never gotten this far, nor has fought Poison at all in this competition. So, who knows how it'll go. Okay. Yeah. So far, it's looking like you're right here. <laughs> <laughs> No. What? <laughs> Poison win? Now, this is a big stage, but uh, the stage is very close to the blast zones. It's sort of your rock wall. Yeah. Um, use the rival's term. Uh, I think Poison... I mean, I mean, if he's going to be able to be this close to the blast zones, uh, his throws are going to be killing real early. Yeah. Three each... Barely surviving poison right now. The 132 percent three has been th thriving off of dying late. Like he's been dying very late this whole tournament. But the fourth throw the is going to get the kill. Do it. No surprise there. Poison is at uh, 93. Not quite gonna do. Not gonna do too much damage overall. But takes advantage of that grenade egg. Once, I wouldn't say Poison's in trouble just yet, but he's at kill percent. <laughs> and a quick back throw, back not throw. quite gonna not get gonna the kill. Do it, but if he had been closer to ledge, that probably would have taken Poison's yes. first stock. Poison uh, getting a solid bit of damage, taking advantage of that rage. Uh, gets killed by the down air, though. 3 e at 82. Great down air hit is gonna do it. Once again, don't count 3E out just yet. 3E has survived very long against characters that can kill very early. Or Hybin's just bad. <laughs> Both are possibilities. <laughs> Go Obstacle for the grenade egg. Don't know if that was the play. Poison kills with the back air. 33% on the board. 3E's got to make something happen. He's got to make better use of those Wonder Wings. He has not been using those yeah. to the best of his ability. He has a problem with that. <laughs> a quick down throw. Tries to go for the jab for some reason. Ooh, the Alolan Ooh. Whip. One more of those at ledge and he's done. Oh, oh. Tries to get a follow-up, but gets hit with that move, I think. Down tilt. Whiffs the grab. 
Oh, Poison trying to go for the... Trying to get fancy. Three with 91% down to... With Poison's last stock, that's not gonna matter. Okay. <laughs> Poison, once again, taking the last stock with his up smash. And moving on to round three. No surprise there, Poison. No. And champion. Continuing his... His, uh, his, his streak. His reign of terror. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna go up against Terrence next, which... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Poison's presence alone is gonna make Terrence think, oh, this is Grand Finals, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> but, who knows? Who knows? Next we have... Anyways. Yep, Villajerome and Bust to Move yeah. are next. Villajerome gets pretty far in these brackets. Uh, Bust to mm -hmm. Move, on the other hand, um, does not. No, does not. <laughs> like the Bust to Move does well. Not typically. He he does do well enough. I think it's just matchup dependent. I would think. Yeah. But maybe Bust to Move can make something happen here. I mean, Terry has the kill power. And Villager, you know, despite having a good recovery, is a lightweight, so... Yeah. Alright, here on Yggdrasil Altar. I genuinely think this should be a counterpick and competitive play. Not oh no, the spike! Not quite gonna do it. Ooh. Almost saw a very early death right there. A quick couple of uh, moves. Bust a move is closing the gap between them, though he does not quite get there. He now has Ghost Sauce on deck. Let's Ghost see if he Sauce uses it. Here. Uh, the, he does not use the Ghost Sauce. Because I think he's, he's, gonna, uh, he, he's gonna go use it over there somewhere. Yeah. He used it real quick before getting on the spawn platform. <laughs> yeah. He, he did Buster Wolf into the spawn platform. Yes. <laughs> it's a true combo. Indeed. Busted move. Not really able to touch Villager Rome. Villager Rome doing a good job staying mobile. Yeah. Vill yeah, Villager oh, no. is a very mobile character. Compared he's, to he's, Terry. He's sitting there waiting. He's like, come on, recover. I dare you. <laughs> yeah, Villager Rome kind of playing with his food here. Bustamoon needs to make something happen. He needs to make it happen fast. We have Ghost Sauce again. Ghost Sauce is here. But Villager Robe likes his food with a little bit of sauce. And, and there we Bust get Moon. the bowling ball. Uh, just flying out, using that up B in neutral. I don't know what's with Chris Chat's amiibo using up B in neutral tonight. Might be a new trading technique you didn't tell me about, but <laughs> you never yeah. know. And a quick back throw is okay, not going to do it. Throw. Terry has no kill throws, no. so... Terry does not have a kill throw. And But he just insists, like, no, I'll make this kill. Watch. Trust me, bro. I don't care if it takes for him to be at 416%. <laughs> and there we go, the jab jab power dunk. Finally taking Villager Ohm's first stock. Ooh, okay. But the move has been struggling this whole match, but maybe one last go sauce will give him everything he needs to turn this around. Oh, nice clash right there. Oh no. This move almost seeming scared to use it. Oh, the power and geyser. There we go. The power geyser. Tries to use the Buster Wolf. Whipping but... the Buster Wolf. Quick Nair. Oh, not quite going to do it. Not quite no jump. Going quick back throw. Alright, bust a move. Stand on stage. Oh, oh. no. He, it was probably a good idea for him to stay on stage, but against his better... His uh, better judgment. His better judgment. Yeah. Villager Rome moves on to round three. Uh, once again, Villager Rome is a very consistently high-placing amiibo in this tournament series. 
Uh, not too surprising to see him get this far. But maybe Balls McGee or possibly Ablex might be able to yeah. take him down. I mean, both of these both of these uh, Amiibos, uh, while not always placing a high lead, they do sometimes go ham in the bracket. Yeah. <laughs> Cause some upsets. Did have a good breakfast I, this I morning, think... but is that going to be enough for round two? Yeah, I think this is going to be an exciting match considering that both of these amiibo are very capable of some upsets. Indeed. Oh my gosh, and Ablex is going right off. Yeah. Like, I want to go. Jam was right. He does want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. The bomb. Launching them both off stage. Ablex with a very commanding lead. It wouldn't be a, a uh, Ablex and the round. And smash. Not without... going to do it. This is it's, a very small stage with small blast zones, switches so you're going to see stuff killing much earlier than, than it typically would. Yeah, and I think when Ablex was, like, went off the first time, it was against Balls McGee. Like, Balls McGee oh, wow. first, it was either Balls McGee or Sammy and Lou. He just got, they just got retrained, and Ablex just was like, yeah, you know what, that's great. No, it was Sammy and Lou, but, uh... I don't know, maybe just Ablex just has an adverse, like, Hatred adverse for Balls is. McGee. <laughs> yeah, or just like any of V-Jack's yeah. Amiibos. <laughs> yeah, he can smell it on them. He can it's smell like the vanilla. Like, trainer. <laughs> well, he is making stuff happen with Squirtle wow. right now. I don't know if that's really going to be enough, though. He should probably make the switch to Ivysaur, and he does! A quick up air to finish the job, switches to Zard to get back on stage. And then immediately gets blown up. And then a little little ledge trap. I almost called it a frame trap. A little ledge trap from Ablex there with the bomb. He throws up the bomb, but it was a trap in and of itself. He detonates it as soon as he throws it. Yeah. This is that up smash. Ooh. Oh, misses okay, the razor Okay, some leaf. nice forward airs from Balls McGee. Back to Zard. Covering with Charizard. The footstool into the nair! Ooh. Oh, the boomerang comes oh, back and hits him into the up smash! Not quite gonna be hit. Balls is hefty. With that oh, back okay, air. the back air. Now, Charizard is perfectly capable of getting some early kills if he plays his cards Absolutely. right. Absolutely, we may saw him not... land that down air in the last match. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the, the down air. Squirtle. The, the switch to Squirtle, not the best switch. And Ablex like out for blood. He hate he hates vanilla. He hates the, the he hates everything about <laughs> it. He hates the color. He hates the flavor. He hates he hates everything about it. Well, I didn't turn you down, did I? Let me do that real quick. Uh, maybe not. Yes. Hey, oh, Chris. Welcome, Chris. Balls got stabbed through the skull. Yeah, it was unfortunate. Uh. All right. Round three. Yeah, round three. All My Bike versus Two to Curb. Uh, both high-ranking Amiibos, but All My Bike, I believe, does tends to do a little better than Two to Curb. I'm sure uh, Chris could give us a little bit of a, like a rundown about what he thinks is about this matchup, uh, which we can uh, check out once during the game. Uh, so let's see how this goes. To start off round three, we have On My Bike versus Two to Curb. On Fountain uh, the of Discord Dreams. stream is paused. Ooh. There we go. I okay, can see it now. Good. Oh, no, it's paused again. Huh. Oh, you know what it is? Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Okay, yeah, it was because I switched off OBS. Anyways. Uh, yeah. He okay. Two to curb wins if he goes fast enough. We will see. It looks like two to curb has some nice momentum going, but on my bike, uh, has kind of gone from like disadvantage has, um, done well in disadvantageous positions tonight. So I wouldn't count him out just yet. Both uh, players at high percents. Yep. On my bike is keeping up with two to curb. 
Uh, but he is also at kill percent, so he has to play carefully. Uh, it's not gonna matter though, that up tilt will finish it, but he also died- Yep. He died pretty late though, so... This might not be... Uh, this might not be a terrible thing for on my bike. You just gotta- maybe you can kill him with that down air like he did last game. Uh, but unfortunately, he's not really in a good position to use it. Uh, two to curve. Oh, the little drag down up air. No, no conversion into anything though. On my bike, trying his darndest. Recovers. Recovers high. Does not get hit by that Gordo. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is the highest that on my bike has uh, gotten in this tournament. Is that correct? In this uh, tournament I series. I believe he has actually gone. The next round, I think he's gone to like semifinals before. Okay. So okay, if he does go down here, it would be like one away from his record. But he does tend to score a little gotcha. higher in these competitions, so it would be a huge blow if he were to lose this. Which unfortunately, it's looking like that might be the case. Oh, hits with the fully yeah. charged waft. Don't know if it was really good time to use it there, but once again, no, it's better no, than no. whiffing it. The curbs in at one ninety eight was definitely not the time to use that, but. Um, and the up smash will desperate. finish it. Yeah, two to curb, but his patented up smash. Hey, uh, so I think two to curb wins if he goes fast enough. On my bike is a two minute timer before he whiffs waft. Ha! He didn't whiff it. He actually hasn't whiffed it tonight. It, and because yeah. he's not going any further, he can't whiff it anymore. Uh, all two to curb needs to do is get rage and go on a rampage. That, that's a, that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Does seem to be what happened. All right, two to curb moves on to uh, semifinals, and now we have Toriyama versus Crockpot. Toriyama on a bit of a streak tonight. Crockpot, so a like, lot of momentum. Yeah, I like both these amiibo. They're two of my favorites, but unfortunately, yes. we're gonna have to see one of them go. <laughs> uh. Preferably, I'd like. Oh no, I can't choose. I can't choose. Let's just play. Yeah, Let's I was gonna say, happens. you really want to pick a favorite child here, Darth? <laughs> okay, so Hero versus K. Rule. Toriyama versus Crockpot. Toriyama just needs to keep rushing down Crockpot. The Yoshi story is a little smaller than Mementos. He won't have much time to sit back and read. Yeah. Uh, Crockpot not letting him do so. He says reading is for nerds and wants to throw him in the locker. <laughs> a quick forward air. Crockpot in a good position to take this. Both of these, despite not being able to pull out the spell list as much as last round, Toriyama is keeping up with in terms of damage. Not in stocks, though. Ooh. Okay, the Nair off stage, and then using his favorite spell. Let me give me a quick sec. Alright, Toriyama going for the Hocus Pocus. He gets slowed down, but I absolutely respect it. No fear. And that Nair will take Crockpot's first stock. I have returned, and I see that uh, Toriyama is about to die again. Yes. I heard the Hocus Pocus thing that happened. The up air yeah. will take it. Crockpot sitting pretty... He may lose this, but at least he will have abided by the hero code. Indeed. But Toriyama attacking out quite a bit of damage on Crockpot here. Goes deep for it, does not really do oh, anything man. though. He's just like, yeah. Crockpot said, Lo, look, look no at this cool card. bug. And Toriyama went down to check. <laughs> Throws out the fireballs. Alright, Frizzle. Ooh. Quick up air. Has time to, tries to throw out the sizz, but does not get it. I don't know what he was trying to do there, but whatever it was, it was wrong. <laughs> All 
Okay, Toriyama having to use his favorite spell to get back on stage there. Tries to kill with the lightning bolt from Kazap, but it's not gonna not gonna work. Oh, jumps into the cannonball. Good job, for, good job, Chief. I'm, pr I'm proud of you. And the down and throw is going to finish. Is. Not yet. He goes for no. the wrong option. I don't think it'll really set it back that much, but Toriyam has a couple more seconds to try and figure out a way to t pull this back somehow. Watch him win this with a whack. Like like he, he kills <laughs> Crockpot and he just whacks him <laughs> on the next block. But no, the Croc block is going to bank off the stage and take the game. Crockpot, two stalking. Toriyama and moving on to semifinals. Indeed. And that completes a very short side one, but that's to be expected this late in the tournament. Next is Terrence versus Poison. As Plas pointed out earlier, Terrence might think this is Grands because Poison's in here. Um Yep. So We'll see how this goes. Maybe Terrence can realize that you could fight Poison earlier than Grand Finals. We'll see. Uh, let's <laughs> let's jump right. Let's jump into it. Yeah, Terrence did give us some great shows the last two rounds. Yes. Maybe he'll be able to do that again. And the Alolan whip Ooh. to get that nice little twenty-five off on uh, goes okay, for another never one. Mind. Poison, wins. Poison, poison wins. Poison. Poison wins. Poison wins. Never mind. It's oh. over. <laughs> Terrence not really going for many aerials right now. He's just jumping yeah, in. Yeah, he really likes going for aerials. Which, I mean, isn't bad when you're playing pits, but... Uses the up B, realizes that you could use it to recover as well as just randomly do it at mid-stage. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Naren, up smash. Oh, up this is the electroshock! <laughs> But dodging that electro does he shock. Quite die though. He manages to survive. Don't know how long that's going to last, but the spike not quite Down going there. to do it. Not gonna do it. But and that this will is kill. not quite. No, not quite. Not quite. Terrence I'll holding on by a thread. Right he wants to be the next one to take out poison. I think he's realizing it's not Grant. Oh, that up smash. Poison's favorite move to just throw out. Oh, Terrence not getting hit by anything yet. He's going to get hit because I said it. But only 20% yeah. from that Alolan whip. Gets hit with the Electroshock. He's just got to edge guard him. Attempts to, but uh, Poison no dodges dice. just in time. A quick spike and a forward air. <laughs> and the up smash is going to okay, do it. The up only... smash will do it. It's only 32% of the... only at 30%. Yeah, this is actually... As long as he does... Never mind. As long as he yeah. doesn't constantly get grabbed by that, he's... Oh, man, I can't believe Terrence is going to lose this. It would be a shame if he were to prove me wrong. <laughs> it would be a shame if he were to realize it's not Grants. Oh! oh the tech! The tech, he's still in this... Oh, my goodness. It's sent to the other side, does he's not kill. <laughs> What a champ! What a champ! Oh, Honestly, he, he deserves this win. We, it's probably not going to happen, but he deserves <laughs> it. He's still living! He's still living! Can we somehow intervene and make it so that Terrence won this just because he wouldn't die? <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh, but oh, unfortunately, boy. Poison... Only a 27%. This is not looking good for Terrence. He fully believes this is Grand Finals. <laughs> He's like, what do you mean it's not Grand Finals? There's Poison here, it's on Final Destination. What? Where else yeah, are you supposed to have Finals and on Final Destination? Grand Finals! <laughs> Jumping in, he catches it and kills uh, him at 93. Uh, the lowest he has been killed all day, or this whole match. Wow. Yeah. All right, and Terrence moves on to semifinals. Welcome, right? Jirasu. Right? Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I I think so. The game is glitching. It's saying that uh, Poison, Poison won. Oh, well. 
So next we have Villagerome. Semi semifinals. It's some layer that Villagerome is um familiar with. Ablex, on the other hand. Uh he came Ablex here once. Ablex has been going ham all night. He really has though. Maybe it's because both of his opponents were uh Vanilla Jax and he just hates Vanilla Jax Amiibo for some reason. But maybe Well maybe uh <laughs> Maybe he'll be able to convince himself that Villagerome was also trained by <laughs> <Vanilla> Jack. <laughs> by the way, I don't know if I said this already, but welcome Karasu. And Laz, yes, uh, Poison is pretty much invincible in most cases. Yeah. Uh, but maybe somebody will come and finish the job. We'll see. Uh, Poison next... is the Thanos of this tournament series. He really is. Let's see, Villadrome versus Ablex. Let's see what happens. Both of these characters are big on projectiles, big on item play. At least, uh, Vill um, Ablex a little more so than Villadrome. But, still, we'll see, we'll see how this plays out. Um, even, honestly, Ablex has been building up some pretty big damage these tournaments. Like, even when he's been behind, yeah. he has been building up insane amounts of damage. And he is doing so with Villagerome, not wow. letting Villagerome even, even breathe. He's like, no, I don't want your turn. Oh my Get goodness, out of here. are you seeing these bomb plays? <laughs> this this is a bit of improvement. Oh no, the spike! Oh no! Villagerome, that's not cheese, that's turnips! Oh my goodness. Quick back air, tries to go with the up smash, but does not get it. The down air will get it though. Ablex with only 32%. Yeah, killing with a down air of his own. Ooh, oh, oh, Villager. Ooh, very nice boom. Oh no, Villager! Cheesing it with the down air again! Once again, the triple nip. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> why can't Ablex have nice things? <laughs> He just wants to be able to go home and say, Zelda, honey, I won tonight. <laughs> Throws out an up, an up special. Launches him away. Not really going to do much just yet. We'll he has the bomb, harm. drops it immediately. The funny number. The funny number. He's got the power. Is he going to use it? Is he going to... Oh, he just lost it. Oh. It was a good run, fellas. So as long as he... Oh, <laughs> it's, it's the bomb. Well, the boomerang coming back. Saying hello to Villager Elm. I wouldn't count Ablex out just yet. Ablex blows himself up. Wouldn't be a game with Ablex without okay, a blow. Okay, I would count him out now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the up air! The up air sending him back to stage! The Nair grabs the bomb while he's at it. Do not detonate that bomb! And the down air again! again. <laughs> Holy crap! No! <laughs> at least he can go home and eat dinner. Dude, you screamed and like your 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 mic fizzled out. It was like you vanished into the void. <laughs> Alrighty. He really did though. He did deserve that win. I agree. Most. Yeah. All right. So we have two big boys, two to curb and crockpot. I don't know how this will go. Um, yeah, I, I, I do not know how this will go. Hopefully, yeah. well. Uh, All right. To well, a curb. For who? Who knows? I don't, I don't know. I, you take a guess. <laughs> to a curb, throwing out a few Gordos to get that damage on. Crockpot waiting for his moment. Wouldn't count him out right, just yet. Time to... Spam up smash, eat hot chip, and lie. <laughs> Crockpot, oh my goodness! Edge guard. Good curb, almost zero to death in Crockpot. But Crockpot finally getting the momentum and dies. No. <laughs> <laughs> finally getting the momentum and dies. <laughs> there was just no hesitation. <laughs> Oh, wow, he's <laughs> making that momentum come back his way, and he's dead. <laughs> Sometimes you just go so fast, you just crash and burn. 
Oh, a kid punished with Sometimes, doesn't. Sometimes, my genius is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh! All right. Oh, back to oh, the back. Oh my goodness! Crockpotter, back carrying him into his own Gordo. Oh my goodness! Ooh. Oh, and the up air <laughs> Crockpot finding that momentum that he lost wow. when he died, evening up these percents. <laughs> and the up air, the Dream Crusher, gets hit with the back air, does not get the kill. Those don't oh, win. Up smash. You rolled the curves patented move. <laughs> the up smash. The lion hammer. And the up air to finish it. The oh, dream wow. crusher. Crockpot is only at twenty four percent. This is the thirty nine percent. This might actually be okay for him. Launches him away. Ooh. He really wants to. Oh no! What happened? <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Laz and Karasu both hate it as well. I can tell from their chat messages. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? What can you do? Oh wow. Alright. Poison <laughs> and Village Jerome. These guys have met in grands before. I'm going to give you three guesses who came out on top, and the first two don't count. Hmm. Also, it, it wouldn't really matter because it's only two choices instead of three. I don't know why I said that, but uh, I think uh, Crockpot is going to win this match. This this next match. You know what? Yeah, he's just going to like. Instead of the bowling ball, Village Road just drops mini crock pots and kills Poison. <laughs> Is this just undeserved wins, the tourney? I don't I mean... know. Honestly, side one was kind of boring. And then the other side was just like, what if all the cheese went up to 50? <laughs> Anyways, Village Road versus Poison. Let's see how this goes. Now, if Village Rome can show off these turnips to Poison as much as you showed her off to Alex, you might have a chance. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. But Poison with the grab and the cross chop to assert dominance. As much as I hate Village Rome, I really want to see him win this. <laughs> impartial, Plasmaster. <laughs> we must be impartial. The up smash throws him like a volleyball. In impartial! In impartial! In oh no! Like, look at that. That's unfair. Fair enough. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Oh, no. Oh, no. But he gets taken down. It's okay. <laughs> okay. 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 This is exciting again. Sakurai was like, oh, you thought this was boring. Watch your amiibo just... I don't know. Just, he just presses a bunch of keyboard buttons and things happen. Oh, boy. Ooh. Alright, Village Realm. Dodging these Alola whips. Alolan whips. It took him like four times to get hit by that. That's going to get the yeah. not quite going to get the kill. Nah. Village Realm needs to edge guard poison again. Or just die. I mean that is the alternative though, is like edge guard him or die. Alright, Village Realm <coughs> needs to take another early stock if he wants to bring this back against poison Oops. or he could just spam up smash uh, <laughs> I, mean, I mean it works his I opponents know. have run into that before yeah looking at you ben yeah <laughs> <clears throat> 
Honestly, like, Once Bill again, Trump's a good amiibo. Just spamming that Alolan whip. The back air, not really gonna do much. We, this is, uh, Villager. Oh. Jumping, Ooh. jumping, uh, rising there, I should say. On the Alola whip is not going to finish it just yet. I confused the percents because I'm not smart. And the down air, he just got edge guard him. He's got edge guard him. And he does not edge guard him. He decides to go down. He's like, hey, it's kind of nice down here. I the was void. Do it though. Yep. Poison taking it over Villager with two stocks on the board. Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> Impartiality out the window. <sighs> <laughs> now Crockpot for his first time in finals. Uh he has had a pretty yeah, his first time losing in grand finals. <laughs> what an honor. Now a bit of a in a bit of a thing here though, I should say, is that Poison and Crockpot, back when we were first doing these, tended to go toe to toe in grand finals. They were generally like the dominating factors in the early test stuff that we did uh now this is different because we also tested that poison was not winning as much as he was but here we are so it's hard to say who's going to win here uh place yeah, your bets I mean, hmm? crockpot does have more survivability than any of the other op opponents poison has fought up till now true uh so uh, who knows maybe crockpot can Finally defeat Poison. Indeed. Um, Karasu would rather Poison win everything than Villager win anything. <laughs> I, I'm feeling that Villager is not the crowd favorite. <laughs> oh, people hate Villager <laughs> because he, he just cheeses out wins with his stupid down air all the time. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, finish this off. Crockpot versus Poison. Will the king ascend to the throne? Or will Poison just be like, screw you and Alola the whip in 50 times? We'll see on Battlefield. That's a good one. I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> a quick crown. Uh, miss oh, wow. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> oh, misses the ledge. Uh, gets gets grabbed out Ooh, of whatever he was doing. grabbed again. <clears throat> uh, Mrs. Ludge again. I don't know why he insists on recovering high. high. Yeah. And a quick near. Getting hit with those down airs. Ooh, okay. Both oh, players man. going a little chasing him off stage. He wants him dead. And he's gonna get that death. Uh. Yep. Oh no. Gets interrupted, tries to go for the vibe check. Not really gonna do much at this point. And also a Bebo. Quick Nair. Uh, Crockpot is slowly... Oh, he escapes the vacuum. With the forward air. Yes. Ooh, Quick Nair does not get crown? The... Another crown, throwing those out. Ooh. Oh, wow, he's okay, he's using the crown a lot more. Tries to do a landing up air. Not something you really want to do with K. Rule. Uh, Poison just takes the cannonball. Crockpot. Get it with the down smash. 107. Not a terrible position to be in with your heavyweight like Crockpot. Still disadvantageous. Throws the uh, it the other way. Oh, uh, the back throw is not going to do it though, really. Oh no, gets footstool. That's going to do it. Poison! That was you're the already most winning. disrespectful kill Poison has ever <laughs> pulled off! And he has done a lot of disrespectful kills, believe me. Yeah, seriously. Come on, Poison. He was already dead. Crockpot trying to find an opening here. Poison just standing there. Be like, Poison Go just ahead. standing there. Menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Can't get that spike because no of the guard. up special. Oh. Oh no, the revenge! Oh, this could be it! revenge for once in his life! He's still got it. He keeps arboring through Cable that. Needs to, but yeah, the back air is going to, to take it. A revenge back air! Poison, two stocking crockpot and taking the tournament. How boring. <laughs>
I mean, honestly, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, tired of seeing Poison win. I was tired of seeing Poison win by Tournament 3. <laughs> yeah, no, there were talks about, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's uh, behind the scenes stuff. I think, uh, we're we're going to have to figure something I out. I think the command grabs are just too good op too good of options against uh cpus yeah because they don't i don't think i've seen a single shield this entire tournament honestly i can't remember when they did that too yeah i've never seen any of these amiibos shield so <clears throat> and I mean, even if they did shield, that wouldn't do anything against, you know, command grab. But I don't know. Cross is a skill issue. <laughs> All right, let me just uh, come over here real quick. Uh, let me get some music started. Uh, yeah. All right, so. That brings us to the end. Uh, I wish I could say I saw that coming, but I somehow didn't. I had hope. I had hope. Uh, anyways. So, uh, thanks everyone out for uh, coming out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um... And yeah, thanks for thanks to Plasmaster for coming out and commentating this with me. He's going to be helping me out for the next couple of tournaments. So huge shout out to yeah, him. Of course. Yeah, I had a lot of fun tonight. Thank you for having me. Of course. Um, is there anything else you want to say before we uh like anything else you want to plug other than your YouTube channel? Which I should probably put down in the description now that I think about it. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, no, uh, be sure to join, uh, Darth Ouija's Discord server if you have not yet already. Um, and, uh, also, uh, go and check out my YouTube channel. You can subscribe. Yeah, I'll actually me. get uh, that in the description real quick. Yeah, I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll be joining Darth Ouija next week, uh, for the next Amiibo tournament. Indeed. Um, we're skipping this one. We played it so many times. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. You, um, actually, Plaz is going to be streaming Earthbound tomorrow. So if you want to check that out, be sure to tune in tomorrow. Uh, what time would you say that is? Uh, that would be seven p.m. Central Time. Yes. So for those of you who are not, PM Eastern time. Uh, for those of you who do not, oh, though the the conversion. Uh, yeah. So, is there anything else I wanted to say? Uh, yeah. No, actually, there's one more thing. Uh, so next week we're going to be having our normal amiibo thing, but on Tuesday we are going to be doing a launch party stream for DNF Duel. So, I'm very excited to try it out. Be sure to be there. Uh, and if you have the game yourself, come on in. We're gonna have some, uh, we're gonna have a blast. We're gonna have some fun. Uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe, join the Discord, and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah. Can't wait for the bot to comment on this when it goes up as a VOD. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, my favorite, uh, my favorite. Yeah, yeah. it's my favorite part of streaming. Yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you all for coming, and I will see you later. Good night.